Good morning. It's sunrise, about sunrise time. Today's Wednesday. Heading to Dayton, Tennessee to see my brother Jack Kaufman. Just wanted to share a little bit about uh, what's been going on. There's so much opportunity in the world today to be the light. Jesus said he was the light of the world, and then he said we were the light of the world. Jesus died, buried, resurrected, spent 40 days walking the earth, ascended to the right hand of the Father, and sent his Spirit to be in us, gave us power over all the power of the enemy. In a time when it seems like the world's darkness has created a hopelessness, the church of the Lord Jesus Christ is alive and well, and we are the light of the world. We're so honored and humbled to share a few updates with you. First update, our youth ministry, Campfires Youth Ministry, We'll hold an out, a community outreach this Saturday at 415 Old Union Road in Churchill, Tennessee. Um, they've done an amazing job of gathering items to give away. Uh, there'll be food. Uh, there'll be hot chocolate and coffee. There'll be music on the outdoor stage. They are calling it Christmas Karaoke. opportunity for folks to sing and worship and praise the Lord and they've asked me if I would at the end uh, of that outreach share the word of the Lord I'll be sharing that day beginning in Isaiah chapter 9 the prophecy of the coming Messiah I pray that this season will be blessed for you and if you're in the Churchill, Tennessee area, come out and be with us Saturday from 4 to 7, I believe it, 4 to 7 p.m. Could be 4 to 8 p.m. Um, also, uh, we've partnered with Churchill Church of God, Pastor Bill, Sister Kathy uh, Clark, and uh, we're loading aid for Mayfield, Kentucky site of the factory collapse when the tornadoes came through Kentucky. Uh, we have a team that is going out. Uh, they'll be leaving in the morning early. Uh, truck and trailer loaded uh, with clothing and hygiene items, uh, diapers, would have thought and it didn't dawn on me until we had a conversation yesterday um, and found out that diapers are scarce almost non-existence within a 50 mile radius maybe uh, of Mayfield they're just not on the shelves so we're looking forward to delivering diapers looking forward to delivering uh, hygiene items Clothes. We're working with the Church of God there in Mayfield. And I'm just blessed to see the body of Christ come together in unity in Churchill, Tennessee and begin to minister uh, to the world out of a little town there in East Tennessee. I'm grateful for the fellowship I have with the other ministers in ministry. I'm grateful for their hearts, for the world local uh, missions always involved in outreach uh, regional uh, missions uh, aid relief just trying to be the body of Christ uh, for some reason in the wisdom of God which I don't understand because his thoughts are higher than mine his ways are higher than mine but he chose to use people he chose to live in people he chose for us to be his feet, his hands, his mouthpiece, his body. We're always blessed when we can fulfill that purpose and that calling as the body of Christ. We meet every Tuesday night in the fellowship hall there on the property. We have received our first uh, gift commitment for the addition to the fellowship 
Paul there, we want to build a multi-purpose auditorium, which will become a meeting place for the church. Um, it will allow us the opportunity to do other activities, uh, to be able to host other activities, and to be able to uh, offer the fullness of the gospel of Jesus Christ. We're so thankful for all of you who have participated so far. We're grateful for the gifts and the help that we receive. Uh, not being a traditional church, we do not get to rely on tithes and offerings, though those who meet with us are faithful to tithe. Um, we're just grateful that the Lord has allowed us to have favor and He's given folks uh, confirmation in their hearts of the vision of his church and Jesus free for all. Just grateful this morning to be a part of the body of Christ and to be a part of the body of Christ is living and moving and active, uh, made alive by his Holy Spirit. The same Spirit that raised Christ from the dead makes alive our mortal bodies. Therefore, we are grateful in this season to be able to be a light to our region, to our community, and we are just thankful to the Lord for all that he's done. You guys have a great day. Uh, it's good to be with you and give you a brief update. Um, looking forward to all that the Lord has in store. Be blessed today. In